Hi, this is Minister Gail with Through the Bible, Part 9 of Biblical Water Baptism. You must be buried and washed in water for remission of sin. Water baptism is a burial. Baptism, you must be buried and washed under the water with Jesus Christ. All scriptures on baptism, which is G907 in the Greek, baptizo, immersed in water. All scriptures on baptism after the book of Acts were written to churches who were already water baptized, buried in Jesus' name, as given and commanded in Acts chapter 2, 38. All the churches after the book of Acts were already water baptized and buried in Jesus' name. All the churches were created in the book of Acts in the New Testament. Mark 16, 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. They weren't saved yet, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So if you believe in Jesus Christ and you are baptized, you shall be saved. You are not saved by just being born again, being filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. You must be water baptized to be fully and truly saved. All the churches in the New Testament always buried and washed away all their sins by full immersion, G907, in water, only in Jesus' name. Acts 22.16. Read it and do your homework. Acts 22.16. And now, why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, G907, immersed in water, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord, which is in Acts chapter 2, 10, and 19. All the exact same way to wash away sin under the water in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 6.11 And such were some of you, but ye are washed, washed, G907, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, washed in the name of the Lord Jesus, then you're sanctified and justified, and by the Spirit of our God, which is Acts 2, 1 through 4, when they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Paul was in Corinth, the city of Corinth, in Acts chapter 18. He abided there 18 months, raising up the church of the Corinthians. In the book of Acts is where the church of Corinth is born. In the book of Acts. And Paul started preaching to the Gentiles in Acts chapter 10. Titus 3, 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. He, not three, not the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost titles, but He, His mercy, single, single, singular tense, He saved us, how? By the washing of regeneration, which is being born again, renewing of the Holy Ghost. And the word for washing is G907, Baptized, baptizo, immersed in water. That's the only way you can complete 
your plan of salvation. Hebrews 10.22 This is to the Jews. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. And this is the Jews that obeyed Acts chapter 2 because Peter was Jewish. Peter was told to feed the sheep. The sheep were the Jews and the Jews were the first ones brought into the New Testament church Acts chapter 2 through 10. And they are used to taking a bath. The Hebrew word for bath is bath. And their bodies were washed with pure water. And if you look at lessons part 1 and 2, you will see how the Jews always washed their entire bodies with pure water before they went in the presence of God. Romans 6.3 Know ye not that so many of us, as were baptized, it says were baptized, G907, into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Acts chapter 10 through 22 is when Peter went to Rome and worked with the Romans. Those of the Romans, they had cults all over the place, worshiping Jupiter, statues, images, gods of the moon and the sun and the stars. They did the zodiac. All of Rome was in a cult atmosphere. Romans 6, 4. Therefore, we are buried, buried with him, by baptism into death. So when you are water baptized, you are buried under the water with him, burying your sins with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, and you raise up out of the water, that was the example he set forth in the Gospels, you raise up out of the water from the dead, and he was the only one who died and rose to heaven after three days from the dead. Muhammad never rose from the dead. Muhammad never rode a white horse to heaven. Muhammad had never rose from the dead. Only Jesus is the only one, the Son of God, who rose up from the dead. Only Jesus Christ. No other did this. That was in 34 AD. The Muhammad Muslim Islam group came up with their ideas in six. 29 AD, way after Jesus Christ was already established. Romans 6, 5, for if we, if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. You cannot be in the resurrection until you're in the likeness of his death. Remember, the dead in Christ rise first. The dead, you must die to your sins and be buried in water. Romans 6, 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. So Acts 22, 16, Ananias told Paul to water baptize in Jesus' name to wash away sin. You're getting rid of the old man. You're crucifying the flesh in water. 2 Timothy 2, 10. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Salvation is only in Christ Jesus, the Mashiach, the Messiah. Acts 4, 8 through 12, Jesus Christ is the stone. There is no other name by which we must be saved but Jesus Christ. 
2 Timothy 2.11. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, that's buried in water baptism, we shall also live with him. And on the day of the rapture, if you're not washed in Jesus' name, according to the Bible, the New Testament churches, Acts chapter 2 through 22, you will be left behind. Even if you are born again and speaking in tongues, you are not saved and you will not be saved on the day of the rapture. You will be left behind if you are not buried in his name only in the water baptism. The church of Colossae was born in Acts chapter 2, 16 and 18. Coloss means monstrosities. It was anciently a large and flourishing city, the great city of Phrygia, major, modern Turkey today, situated on the Lycus, not far from its junction with the Meander and in the neighborhood of Laodicea and Hierapolis. It was during the time of the Persian king Xerxes I that the city of Phrygia was established. And Colossae, the church of Colossae, was the city of monstrosities because they had many gods and goddesses that they worshipped and many cults. Colossians 2.10 And ye are complete in him... So the church was already established in the book of Acts 2, 16 and 18. You are complete in him, past tense, which is the head of all principality and power. Matthew 28, 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. There is no power in Muhammad, no power in the name of Allah, no power in the name of Shiva. There's no power in Kabbalah or the Talmud. The only power is in heaven and earth is in the name of Jesus. That's the only name that has power to remove sin. Colossians 2.11 And whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the circumcision of flesh by the circumcision of Christ, the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. And the circumcision which is made without hands is when Jesus Christ's name cuts away the sin from the flesh and it's done by water baptism. That is the circumcision made without hands. You put off the body of sin, you cut it away. The circumcision of Jesus Christ for the Gentiles and the Jews today is by the washing away in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 2, 16 and 18. Colossians 2, 12. Past tense, buried. Buried. They were buried with him in baptism in the book of Acts chapter 2, 16 and 18. Wherein also ye are risen with him they came up out of the water through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. Buried, past tense, with him in baptism. G907, that's the Greek word for baptizo. In 63 AD, all the New Testament churches, after completing Acts chapter 10, 43 through 48, through 2216, now the church of Galatia, Paul is writing to the Galatians 3.27. For as many of you as have been baptized, past tense, they were baptized in Acts 16 through 18. Baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So you have not put on Christ until you have completed Acts chapter 16 through 18, 19, 22. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. If you have been baptized into Christ. If you have been baptized into Christ. Then you are one in Christ Jesus. You are not part of the church. If you have never been baptized under the water. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Wash me, cleanse me from sin. Psalms 51 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. How? 51 and 2. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And that's what they did. And when they washed in the sea, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. You have to wash the sin away. 51 and 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, Yeshua, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Singular tense. O God, thou God of my salvation. Remember, Jesus is the author of the Bible. The entire Old and New Testament. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He put in the prophets and through David and Job to write down what he was telling them to say. O oh God of my salvation. A baptism when it is completed salvation. Conclusion. Everyone needs water baptism after repentance. Mark 16, 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and is baptized shall be saved. 22, 16, and now why tarriest thou, arise, be baptized, G907, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, truth, and life. Jesus is our salvation, Yeshua. I have a class on YouTube in this book series. Jesus is the I am. Only for those who did Acts chapter 19, 1 through 6, 22, 16, Acts 20, 32. And now, brethren, I commend to you God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified, they're still in the book of Acts. You cannot be sanctified till you have completed Acts 19, 1 through 6. Inheritance is only through a name, not a title. So if you've only been baptized by Matthew 28, 19 titles or sprinkled as a baby, you are not part of the inheritance because you don't have a name. Only for those who did Acts 19, 1 through 6, Acts 26, 18, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified, past tense, by faith that is in me. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, truth, and life. I am. He's the inheritance. you got to have a name to inherit something. 63 AD, all the New Testament churches, after completing Acts 10 through 22, Galatians 3, 29. And if ye be Christ's, 
then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. And the promise was given in Genesis 17 through Isaac, not given to Ishmael. And then in Acts 1, Jesus said, Go wait in Jerusalem for the promise of the Holy Ghost, which was given in Acts chapter 2, 1 through 47. The entire chapter must be done to be saved. Only one person paid the price in his blood for the remission of your sins. The Father was never born and cannot bleed. The Holy Ghost was never born and cannot bleed. So they are not persons. A will and a testament can only be written in one name by one person. The only one with the credit for your debt of sin is Jesus Christ. He's the only one with the credit for your debt. And the blood, the word for blood in Hebrew is the door and the water. The door and the water. The covering over the door. And the covering over the door, the blood covering, cancels your appointment with death on the day of rapture. John 10, 9. John 10, 9. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. So you have to enter into Jesus Christ through the water baptism to be saved. The Hebrew word for one is echad. It means the first Yoke to the door. You read right to left in Hebrew. And there's the door, just like it is in the word for blood. Echad. The word one has the letter for the word door in it. So in Deuteronomy 6, 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. He was telling us that he was the door in the beginning. One door, not three but one door to be saved. The brand name Jesus separates the real one, Acts 2.38, from a cheaper knockoff, temporary trinity, Hindi version of baptism. God is three persons was invented by the Catholic, the Roman Catholics in 325 A.D., they added it to the Bible. It came from Trimurti in 1400 BC. See, here's the Shiva. 1400 BC, Trimurti. God is three persons. See the three persons in one Godhead? God is three persons came from the Hindi version. Matthew 28, 19, the Roman Catholics created a Trinity Roman lie. This is a Trinity Roman lie. It's the Hindi version of baptism. It is not the real one. This is a cheaper knockoff Hindi version of baptism. Anyone who uses Matthew 28 19 is a knockoff, cheaper, temporary version of water baptism taken from India. See all the arms and the heads? God is three persons, came from India. Not the Bible. If you have ever been baptized in the titles Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Matthew 28, 19, either sprinkled or water baptized under the water, you have been given a blank check. Your sins are still not removed. The Father and the Son, the Father and the Holy Ghost never paid the price. For your sins, you are none of his. No name has been sealed on your forehead by Acts 2.38. No name to remove the sin. Your flesh is still covered by sin. The original Jewish church in the book of Acts was not in Matthew. 
your baptism is null and void. You are not the bride of Christ because you have no name without the mikvah or the bath. No name. A blank check if you used Matthew 28, 19. If you have been baptized under water in the name of Jesus Christ, already completing Acts 2.38, you still need to be born again in the Spirit with evidence of speaking in unknown tongues, fulfilling John 3 through 8. Acts 2, 1 through 4 was the first time it happened in the New Testament church. The promise is to all. Hebrews 11, 1. Now the faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This faith is the seed of the Father. It is the substance of and then the speaking in unknown tongues is the evidence of things you cannot see. If you have been born again with the gift of the Holy Ghost, Spirit, proof and evidence by speaking in unknown tongues, you still need to be baptized under the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 2.38 still must be done for you to be saved. If you have only been born again in the Spirit, speaking in unknown tongues, you are just sanctified and set apart, but you are not saved. The seed of faith is the word of the Father. You will speak in unknown tongues when you are born again in the Spirit. Jesus Christ, he is the name of the quickening spirit of the Holy Ghost. And he is the author and the finisher of your faith. 1 Corinthians 15, 45. He is the quickening spirit of the Holy Ghost. You must be born again in the spirit. It's a quickening spirit and you will speak in unknown tongues. You have to have this with Acts 2.38, your water baptism in Jesus' name only, and be born again in the Spirit with the evidence of speaking in unknown tongues to be saved. Do you really trust the Lord? Do you trust the written, infallible Word by using the only correct, the only true water baptism done seven times only in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as in Acts 2.38. Do you really trust the word? Note, none of the disciples in the New Testament Holy Bible, any version, never used a fast food combo meal, temporary, Matthew 28.19, with, Matthew, with Acts 2.38 for water baptism, nor did they put together a sandwich using Matthew 28 plus Acts 2.38. False prophets use this combo meal for temporary water baptism. The only real baptisms done in the water after Jesus died on the cross were Acts 2.38. No one in the Bible ever used Matthew 28, 19, or a combo meal for water baptism. Continued, go to part 10 through the Bible. Do you really fear the Lord? If you go to Google search for Minister Gale Teacher, you will find all my classes available on YouTube channel. Learn about the baptism in the Holy Ghost and water baptism as given in the Bible. I also have Hebrew lessons. There is a Strong Concordance video class lookup. For three great resources online, you no longer need to use a book. 
and you can look up the Hebrew or Greek word in the Strong's Concordance and all the scriptures that are connected to that word quickly, and I have a class to show you how to use them. I have a class on learning Hebrew in the Psalm 119, which has the complete Hebrew alphabet. I also have the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet classes if you want to learn easy, classical, biblical Hebrew. I have classes teaching the Hebrew. Salvation, water baptism, the search for truth is in progress. If you do not have the baptism of the Holy Ghost as promised to all in the book of Acts chapter 2 or the water baptism in Jesus name, I have easy video teachings in a playlist for the water baptism and one on the Holy Ghost. And if you go to these teachings, you can see how to receive it and how to be baptized in Jesus name. The New Testament baptism is for Jews, Gentiles, Muslims, Africans, Asians, Hindis for everyone on the planet Earth. This class was created and published by me only for outreach and free class instruction through my nonprofit Gospel Hobby Ministry. It is to be used for teaching purposes only and should not be copied or sold online or through other private entities. These classes are no longer available on Facebook. Thank you for joining the class today. Please subscribe and click the alert bell. Go to Google search and type in Minister Gale to see all the classes I have on my YouTube channel.